This is question 7 from paper 1 of the new SQA Higher Math Specimen paper. So part A, we're asked to show that x plus 1 is a factor of x cubed minus 3x minus 12. And to do this, we'll use the synthetic division scheme. But let's have a look, first of all, at a division. Where, let's divide 2 into 7, which goes 3 times with a remainder of 1. So we know that 7 is 2 times 3 plus 1. And certainly 2 is not a factor of 7 because we've got the remainder. Let's do 2 divided into 8. 2 into 8 goes 4, remainder 0. So we can say that 8 is 2 times 4 with a remainder of 0. 2 we now know is a factor because the remainder was 0. So let's go and look at the division. Now, the division scheme, remember if we're dividing this polynomial, this cubic polynomial, x cubed minus 3, 13x minus 12, if we're dividing that by x plus 1, we start with a negative 1. That's the value of x that makes this 0. And we write down the coefficients of this polynomial. Now, there's 1x cubed. There's no x squared, there's minus 13 x's, and there's a constant term of minus 12. So it's the 1, it's the 0, it's the minus 13, and the minus 12 that we write down. These are the coefficients of the powers of x. So 1, 0, negative 13, and negative 12. And the procedure is the 1 comes down, we multiply by this negative 1, we then add. We multiply by this negative 1, we then add. We multiply by this negative 1, we then add. Now, what this means is that this cubic expression that we started with, that's 1x cubed, no x squared, minus 13x, minus 12, and we can now say that it's x plus 1 times x squared minus x minus 12. And I'm reading that second result from these three numbers there, plus a remainder of 0. If you look at the, the, this case here, 2 into 8 goes 4, so 8 is 2 times 4, remainder 0. Now that's very similar to this one, where this polynomial here, x cubed minus 13x minus 12, is x plus 1 times x squared minus x minus 12 with a remainder of 0. Since the remainder is 0, x plus 1 is a factor. So that's part A. Successfully shown that x plus 1 is a factor of that and given a reason. Stated that the remainder is 0. So let's have a look now at part B. It says factorise that cubic expression fully. So we've already started the process here where x cubed minus 13x minus 12, we now know is x plus 1 times x squared minus x minus 12. One of the factors was x plus 1, as we proved here. The other factor is this x squared minus x minus 12. Now, it's, a, it's similar to, say, factorising uh, 30, where you end up with 2 times 15. That's not factorised fully. We could deal with the 15 and say it's 3 times 5. So we've factorised it further. This is a, a full factorisation in this case in terms of prime numbers. But um, x plus 1 times perhaps this expression here, this quadratic, can be factored further. And the firsts would therefore be x and x and two numbers that multiply to 12 but give us a negative 1x when we do the outside 2, it would probably be minus 4x, and 
plus 3x for the inside too. That'll give us a minus 1x. You always check by doing first outsides, insides, last. Multiply this out and check you do get x squared minus x minus 12. So your first give you x squared, which is OK. Your outsides minus 4x plus 3x. That does give us minus x. And then positive 3 times negative 4 does give you negative 12. So that's been successful. We've fully factorised it. And these are the three factors, x plus 1, x plus 3, and x minus 4.